Hello, welcome to today's video. Um, we have been outside and collected our things today, but it was getting quite dark and quite late. So um, we have gathered our things. We're going to do our video at home. So I'll show you what you need for today's activity. So today we have got some willow. So remember, willow is the sort of bendy, flexible um, wood. You don't necessarily need willow, but that's what we've chosen to use because it's nice and straight as well. So you will need four thicker branches, whether that's willow or another wood. Um, you will need some thin, bendy ones if you're using willow for the next bit, some string and some scissors. Take your four thicker sticks and we're going to arrange them like this. So we've got a noughts and crosses grid or a tic-tac-toe, some people call it. So what we're going to need to do is to lash these different points here. Um, if you've watched any of our videos before, you'll have seen how to do some clove hitches and square lashing. But for those who are new to um, watching our videos, we're going to go over that now. So the first thing we're going to do is make a clove hitch. A clove hitch is a really good way to secure string or rope onto a stick or log before you start using it for lashing. So to make a clove hitch, you are going to make two loops in your string. So we've got the first loop like this, just by twisting, and a second loop round your finger, and just like so. And if I hold these at the top, Hopefully you'll see that one of the strings is in front and one of the strings is behind and that's what you'll need. The one that's in front you tuck behind and I'm not twisting them around or anything like that, I'm literally overlapping them. And then I'm going to put that onto my first stick, like so, where I need to lash it and pull the two ends of the string, like that. If you've done it correctly you will have two bands on this side and if I flip it over you'll see you have a sort of cross on the other side like so. Next we are going to square lash this stick onto this one. So you can see that I've got the cross of the clove hitch facing here and I'm going to put my next stick on top. Now I want to use the long end, you can see I'm leaving the short end here, the long end of string. Now, you can think of this in different ways. You could think about it as a person. So we've got the head, the um, legs and the arms. Um, that's one way to think about it. So you're going over the arms, around behind the neck, over the arms again, round behind the body. So each time you're going over, under, over, under as you work your way around. Some people like to think about it as sort of direction. So you're going over the first stick, under the second stick, over the third stick, and under the fourth stick. And each time you're only going under or over one stick. Okay, at the moment I've got that done twice. So I'm going for a third time. So over the arms or over the first stick, behind the neck of the head, or under the second stick, over the arm or the third stick and under the legs or behind the fourth stick. Once I've done that and I've gone three times, you should be able to see three bits of string and if I flip it over, you'll see that it at no time is the string going diagonally, it's going round in this sort of square shape, which is where it gets its name, square lashing. So once I've done that, I'm going to go the opposite way. This is to tighten the lashing. So I went behind the stick, so now I'm gonna go the opposite way, I'm going over it. We went in front of these sticks before, so we are going behind them, over, behind, each time I'm pulling that string, which is tightening the knot, over and behind, over, behind, one more time, so we're going around three times, over, behind, over, behind, and you can see that's made it a nice square shape now. Finally, to secure that, I'm going to get my short end that I've left and I'm going to do uh, finish it with a reef knot. So this one goes over, 
and under and through and we pull it tight nice and tight and the short one now goes over under and through again and I can cut off these ends with my scissors just like so now the next thing I need to do is square lash this on and my final stick to square lash that now remember always to start with a clove hitch to get your string on so I've got three more square lashings to do um, and I'll do that now and then I'll show you that when it's finished so as you can see we've finished lashing those bits together we've got our noughts and crosses or tic-tac-toe grid so you can either find some objects to use but we're going to make some knots and crosses so once again we are going to use our square lashings we've got shorter pieces this time of willow and um, we're going to use our clove hitch again so a loop and another loop remember to have one loop with the string in front one loop with the string behind and the one that's in front is going to slide behind or go on top of the other one um, your stick goes through, like so. Put it nice and tight. And we're going to do our square lashing again, which is over, under, tiny little cross, over, under, over, under, over, under. So it gives you lots of practice for doing square lashing. Remember, we do that three times. And then we go the opposite way. So I've gone over this. So I'm going to go back round. And I am going to go over, under this one. You're aiming for three times. But equally, if you've run out of string, which I think I'm going to, you get to a point where you can tie the two ends off. It gets a bit fiddly when your string is a bit short. Like that. Okay, and then you've got your little cross. So now you take your willow or your other substitute. So now we're just going to put it into a circle shape. So you have two little sticks coming out. And we're just going to put it through and around our circle. So it holds. You may need to maybe use a bit of string just to secure that. But we're just going to go through. And you may want to cut off these ends. But other than that, that is your knot. So we've made our game board, we have made our noughts and our crosses using our willow. It's ready to play. So we're ready to play. Megan is going to be noughts, I'm going to be crosses. And we're ready to be in. Who do you want to start? Yes. Okay, go for it. Ooh, I'm going to go there. Mm, I'm going to go there. Got to block you. Okay. Then I'll go there. <laughs> think I'm gonna get you there now. Um, okay, I'm gonna go there. Okay, I'm gonna try for this line here. And I'm ah! gonna go there. <laughs> yeah. There you are, Megan won that game. We're of gonna course, play again, rematch. rematch. Here we go. We hope you enjoyed um, that today. It's a good opportunity to practice your knots and lashings and you also get to play a game at the end of it. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Forever Green Forest School, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Hashtag Forest School. See you later. Bye.